to the government of Uganda for the Usmid project. Usmid has uh, created changes in many municipalities. It is a, an intervention that was long overdue, as you obviously know, uh, as government was tended to concentrate more on the rural areas with several government programs. But the Usmid intervention has changed the face of the municipalities. Not just Jinja, but all the municipalities in the country. And we are praying and are asking that this intervention does continue. Honorable Minister, as you know, there used to be a sentiment that municipalities and urban areas are anti-government. No, they were not anti-government. But there was a creeping sentiment of anti-government because there were no visible changes on the ground. Today, with the USMIN project, we are able to see new roads, we are able to see new bus parks, we are able to see capacity building in the municipalities. The hand of the government is now visible in the municipalities. And we are requesting that it does continue. The municipalities still face a lot of challenges, Honorable Minister, and allow me to use this few minutes to express them to you so that you can also express them in the other forums and also in your meetings with the President. We do have a problem in the municipalities of remuneration. As you know, Honorable Minister, you're a member of Parliament. In the Parliament, you'll be able to get maybe 25 million plus. The mayors here do get about 1 million. After taxes, they remain with about 700,000. It's hardly adequate for them to carry out their duties, yet they're the ones that remain on the ground. Honorable Minister, the district chairman, and we have 112 of them, have just been facilitated with the new motor vehicles. The mayors have not got a single motor vehicle. And the same applies to the town clerks here, who are the accounting officers. There are not that many municipalities, there are only 34. And we believe that it's not beyond the reach of government to facilitate the mayors and the town clubs with the, with the motor vehicles. Honorable no, Minister, we also have a problem with the titles. And I'm using this opportunity because I don't know when I'm going to see you again. Okay? <laughs> but uh, we have a problem with the titles. I believe that the titles in the local government structures do not represent the status and the functions of some of the people that carry out the jobs. The town clubs, for example, Honorable no, Minister, they are called town clubs. How about calling them municipal, di municipal directors? I think that would be more apt. It is being used in Kenya. It is also being used in Tanzania. I think it would be well advised to work. <laughs>